Hey guys, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com. I apologize again for my voice, I'm still a little bit sick, but I wanted to make another video for you today and talk about if your significant other or husband, whoever you're with, should be your best friend. Um, I think a lot of people have questions about that, you know, especially for people who don't necessarily consider their lover their best friend, you know, but should your other half be your best friend in a relationship? What does that mean? What does that look like? Um, I mean, I'm going to say the short answer is yes. And the reason I say that is because I think in any type of a relationship you have with anybody, so let's say you do have that best friend in general, not your lover, but just a best friend who you go to for moral support and guidance and connection and you have a really good time with, I do think those qualities in that best friendship should result into the qualities that you have with your lover but you're going to have a little bit more qualities with your lover right because hopefully if it's a happy healthy relationship you're also going to have that intimacy piece and that romantic piece as well but there needs to be a level of respect in any type of a relationship with your significant other and there's also a respect when it comes to just friendships in general you know so however you allow your friend to be in your life and you have that emotional connection with and you know you if you don't allow your friend to treat you a certain way you shouldn't allow your partner to treat you a certain way so there really is a lot of similarities between best friends and um, intimate partners and I do think that it's important in a healthy happy relationship that you communicate to your partner and you are open and you're honest and you're sincere and you talk about your feelings and your deepest, darkest thoughts. I mean, that's really important to maintain that sense of connection and maintain that sense of trust, just like you would with most likely a best friend as well. You know, you have to tell your partner things, you have to connect with them, um, and you have to have a certain level of respect for one another. And then there's also that support system as well, just like in any friendship we have, right? In intimate relationships, our other half needs to be our support network for us and our cheerleader and encourage us to do things, you know, at times when we're really weak and we're tired and we don't want to do it. But we have to have our other half be that, you know, support and that advocate for us. And so I think all these qualities that are in a healthy relationship with an intimate partner, I think a lot of those qualities are in a friendship as well. And so it's important for you to maybe look at your relationship with your significant other and ask yourself if you feel that your person is your best friend or not. Um, I think there needs to be certain foundations um, in any relationship that are friendship based. But again, in an intimate relationship with your significant other, you're going to have that intimacy, you're going to have that romance. You don't have that in friendships, that is true. But the certain qualities and aspects um, that you have in a partner, you do have in your friends as well. And I definitely feel that my partner absolutely is my best friend. And I am one of the most luckiest uh, women in the world to have him. So, and I hope you feel the same way in your relationship. And if you don't, it's something to analyze and take a look at and see if there's a way that you guys can connect on that friendship level and build from there, you know, um, and try to get that connection back on the ground level. And then you can build towards that intimacy and, and that romance and increasing those aspects. So feel free to um, ask me any questions or comment below. You know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube page if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time for my next healthy relationship tip. Thanks for listening. Bye.